Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I want to create this really quick video to go over something, iOS 9.3.3 and its potential release date. Because as I'm sure the majority of you are already aware, iOS 9.3.3 is one of the firmwares jailbreak developers are expected to target. Now, can we expect a jailbreak immediately following iOS 9.3.3's release? Well, if the past is any indication, following the release of a firmware that jailbreak developers intended to target, it took teams roughly one to two weeks to issue jailbreak utilities, again ensuing those targeted iOS releases. Now we don't know definitively whether Taiji and or Pangu is targeting iOS 9.3.3, but it seems the most likely, especially since 9.3.3 is likely going to be one of the last iOS 9 updates. Apple is incredibly focused on stability with 9.3.3, of course, which is indicated by five beta releases for such a very minor iOS update in general. However, we also have to take into consideration that there are known vulnerabilities, specifically the incredibly powerful Safari vulnerability that exists inside of iOS 9.3.2 that don't in 9.3.3. So it would definitely be a shame for those to just go to waste. We don't know what jailbreak developers are currently planning. All we can really do is kind of predict and adapt to the situation. But either way, if they are targeting iOS 9.3.3, then when will it be released? That's what we're focusing on in today's video. So as for iOS 9.3.3's release date, let's open up Safari here really quick and just scroll down. We're actually on Apple's developer portal and we are fully logged in so that we can access it. As you can see, iOS 9.3.3 Beta 5 was of course seeded to register developers on July 6th, 2016, so exactly one week ago from today. However, we do not have a new beta today, so that actually tells us something and gives us some guidance. Let's go ahead and switch on over here to the desktop view, and we're going to go over some things inside of Calendar because I have some things marked down here just so I can show you guys and so you can visualize this kind of pattern that's starting to form. Stick with me here because it is a little confusing. So of course, today, the 13th, we did not receive iOS 9.3.3 beta 6, which of course would have followed beta 5. And again, like I said before, that was seeded one week ago. So on the 6th, and one week before that, we received beta 4. So you can see that for the past three betas, even iOS 9.3.3 beta 3, which wasn't seeded on a Wednesday, but rather a Tuesday, they are all for the most part back to back one week apart. And then if we take one step back even further, the second beta, there's a week between that and beta 3. And the same thing actually goes for beta 1 and beta 2. So we have a blank week in between beta 1 and beta 2, as well as beta 2 and beta beta 3. And if we go back even further and kind of look at iOS 9.3.2, which was eventually released to the public on Monday, May 16th, we can see that a very similar, almost identical pattern formed. Granted, the days are a little bit different. Instead of back-to-back -back betas on Wednesdays, we have them on Tuesdays. So beta 4 being the last iOS 9.3.2 beta, of course, falling on Tuesday, May 3rd. And then we back that up to beta 3. And again, those two are back-to-back -back, and same thing actually goes for beta 2. Granted, it is off one day, just like what we have with the last three betas for iOS 9.3.3. Again, we have the exact same day of the week being Wednesday for beta 5 and beta 4, but when we look at beta 3, that's one day off. However, they're still all back to back for the past three releases. We have that exact same thing for iOS 9.3.2 beta, and of course, the first beta for 9.3.2 actually had a weak spacing it and its successor. So that's exactly the same pattern that we have for iOS 9.3.3, guys. So what does that mean? Well, we can look at the last beta for 9.3.2, and we can see that Apple took that week off, which is what's happening this week. We don't have a beta today, which would be exactly one week from the last iOS 9.3.3 beta 5 release. And that means the following Monday, we will likely see iOS 9.3.3 released to the public just like iOS 9.3.2 was. And of course, a fair number of Apple's public iOS 9 updates, including 9.3.2, 
and 9.3, iOS 9.3.1, doesn't really count because it was an emergency update that was rushed, were issued on Mondays. So that means we can almost certainly expect iOS 9.3.3 to drop and be released to the public for all iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch models on Monday, July 18th. Of course, this is just working theory and it's going off of patterns of Apple's past iOS updates and releases, including both public and beta firmwares. So we'll definitely get confirmation soon. And if it is released on next Monday, hopefully that means we can expect a jailbreak for iOS 9.3.3 if jailbreak developers are in fact targeting that firmware one to two weeks following its release date. All right guys, now that basically wraps up this video. How many times did I say iOS 9.3.2, 9.3.3, and beta? Because it definitely feels like a lot. Now, if you wanna talk about iOS 9.3.3's upcoming release, or really anything related to jailbreaking, I recently launched the forms on jailbreakandhacks.com. You can navigate to them simply by going to jailbreakandhacks.com forward slash forms, or by clicking the second link down below in the description. You will be immediately taken there. Just be sure to sign up. If if you have absolutely any questions related to jailbreaking, you can post them on jailbreakandhacks.com. The members are incredibly active and it is growing so fast, guys. It's absolutely phenomenal. We have such a great community going on right now on jailbreakandhacks.com. So just be sure to sign up for the forums right now. And if you want to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.